What's up vapers? Nick here for Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. Today is Fresh Build Friday. I have a very special episode today. We're going to be highlighting a website called purecast.com. They were nice enough to send me this little care package here. Uh, in this package we got their first non-aged e-liquid uh, called TROP. It is a Hawaiian blend and it's mixed in a copper still with oxygen uh, for better molecule bonding. Uh, they gave me some essence wire, which is a blend of uh, regular canthal and nichrome. They have Japanese cotton sourced directly from Okinawa, Japan. And finally, silver strike screws, which are 70% copper, 30% brass, and coated with 50 microns of pure silver. So hopefully that'll improve the performance of my RDA. Uh, without further ado, let's get building. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have all my tools laid out for... Uh this build today. Uh, I think I'm going to do just a standard dual coil and the gauge wire they sent me was 26. So this is one of my first experiences with 26 so hopefully it comes out good. Uh, I think I'll do eight wraps per side and uh, it should come out pretty low. So we're just going to take our first strand of wire and our needle and just wrap a coil. So there's our first coil all set. Let's wrap another one. So here you can see we have our coils all set. Now let's all install them on our RDA. Today we're going to be using this Stellaire clone and as you can see I've already installed the Silver Strike screws. So let's just install this and do this positive post first. And then the negative. And I'm just going to tighten down the negative post. I'm just going to take my other coil and install it. and tighten down the other negative post. When both coils are right where you want them, just go ahead and tighten down the positive post. Neaten up your coil a bit by just moving it with your needle. So now that our coils are looking pretty good, let's just clip these extra wires and fire it up. Alright, so our coils are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a quick resistance check. 0.27, not too bad. Alright, let's take it off the ohm reader, put it on our mod and fire it up. So 
So now we're just going to pulse fire it until they start glowing from the middle out. So they're already looking pretty good, so that's a good sign. And now we're going to just take our tweezers and squish those coils together. All right, we are looking good. Let's give it some uh, wick, some juice, and have a vape. So here is the Japanese cotton they sent me. Uh, it's pre-cut into these little four centimeter by four centimeter squares, which is really convenient. Uh, usually I make wicks that are probably too big, so this is gonna definitely cut down on the size of my normal wicks, but I think it should work out just fine. Let's uh, tear off a couple strips. All right, here she is all wicked up. Let's drip some of that trop on here. So right off the bat, I just got to tell you that this flavor just tastes really, really clean. I feel like they really took their time to make sure they uh, got the flavor just right. Uh, you don't get really any chemical aftertaste. You can tell it's really a natural extract rather than just some sort of random flavoring. Uh, so I did want to make a note of that. The flavor itself, I get a heavy pineapple with a lot of other little sweet fruity flavors in there. I think it makes for a really uh, delightful fruity blend. Also the flavor that you get out of this cotton is also makes it very clean. Um, don't get any cottony aftertaste to it. Nothing that really dilutes the flavor. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Let's have another vape. As you can see, it's chucking the vapor. Uh, don't know the exact PG-VG ratio. I'm going to guess it's a high VG uh, just because of the clouds. Um, they don't state it on their website as well, so maybe it's a whole top secret thing. Not quite sure on that. Also, I just want to note that the build in this jumped up to 0.3 after I fired the coils. I checked it again to make sure everything was still good, and it jumped up to uh, 0.3 ohm. So that's the final resistance on this build, but performance-wise, it is performing flawlessly. It's wicking great. I mean, th these aren't even my greatest coils ever, and I think the performance on this build so far has been really stellar. One thing I did notice about doing this build today was that the essence wire is a little bit more stiff and rigid than uh, regular Canthal wire, so you're going to have to put a little bit more muscle into it than you normally would. But other than that, I think the performance is really outstanding. So, so far, so good on this build. Just to wrap it up, I'm using all products from purecask.com. I have the essence wire, which is nichrome and Canthal. Uh, silver strike screws, which are 70% copper, 30% brass, coated with 50 microns of silver. Uh, I have Japanese cotton here, straight from Okinawa. The flavor I'm vaping on today is TROP. It's uh, their first non-aged e-liquid. It's made in a copper still using a proprietary oxygen percolation method, which I think is really revolutionary. These guys really know what they're doing, so definitely check them out. Try this flavor out. I think it's really good. I'm just going to keep vaping here. So purecast.com is the site where you can get all these products. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, vape on.